हेलो किड्स टुडे आई विल टेल यू द स्टोरी जैक एंड द बीन स्टॉक देर वॉज वंस अ बॉय कॉल जैक हु लिव्ड विथ हिज विटो मदर इन अ टेम्बल डाउन लिटिल कॉटेज दे वर वेरी पुअर इन फैक्ट द ओनली थिंग दे हैड इन द वर्ल्ड वॉज ए काउ विच गेव दैम मिल्क अलास द डे केम वेन द काउस मिल्क रैन ड्राई एंड जैक्स मदर डिसाइडेड दैट द बेस्ट थिंग टू डू वॉज टू सेल हर सो जैक्स सेट आउट टू मार्केट एंड फेम इंस्ट्रक्शंस टू आस्क अ गुड प्राइस फॉर द काउ He had not gone more than a mile or two down the main road when he met with an odd little man. That's fine looking animal you have there. He exclaimed, "Yes, indeed, she is," replied Jack. "I am taking her to market. Give her to me," said the little man. "Take these five magic beans in exchange." Jack began to feel he had made a mistake what would his mother say he returned home with a heavy heart what back so soon exclaimed his mother how much did you get for the cow five magic beans replied jack you idiot we need it money to buy food cried jack's mother how could you do be so stupid she snatched the beans and tossed them out of the window and poor jack was sent to bed without any supper the next morning when jack woke up his room looked strange it was bathed in a sort of greenish light Jack went to the window and what did he see the most amazing thing the beans had sprung up into a enormous bean stalk which reached up 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 into the clouds taking care not to wake his mother Jack dressed and clambered from his window latched on to the bean stalk and began to climb it for he was sure that the fortune the little man had promised him must be at the top of it jack climbed higher and higher not daring to look down in case he became dizzy and fell at last he reached the other side of the clouds and saw a long road be off with you she said my husband is a giant and he will gobble you up if he catches you Oh please be kind i am hungry give me something to eat begged jack well the giant's wife took pity on jack she let him into the kitchen and gave him some bread and cheese he had just finished eating when he heard the sound of footsteps coming along the passage and a voice like thunder boomed out fi fi fu fum i smell the blood of an englishman be he alive or be dead i will grind his bones to make my bread goodness it's my husband cried the giant's wife quick hide in the oven the giant's wife claimed her husband telling him that he was mistaken it must be your porridge that you can smell she said putting a bowl on the table for him The giant grunted and sat down when he had finished eating he took some bags from a cupboard and poured out a shower of gold coins from one of them He began to count them 1 2 3 3 as he did this he grew sleepy and by the time he had reached 10 he was fast asleep and snoring loudly Jack had been watching the giant through a crack in the oven door Now he leapt on to the table and snatching a bag of gold coins he made off with it. Jack and his mother lived off the gold for a long time but at last it was all spent and Jack decided that he must climb the beanstalk again. The giant's wife recognized Jack immediately and wanted to know what had happened to the bag of gold. I will tell you said jack if you give me breakfast so the giant's wife took him in and fed him and again there came the th- thudding of footsteps along the passage and jack was forced to hide himself after breakfast the giant's wife brought her husband a pet hen lay little hen commented the giant and the hen laid an egg of pure glittering gold after a while the giant fell asleep Then Jack 
crept out from his hiding place, caught hold of the wonderful hand, ran from the castle, slid down the beanstalk, and was safe and sound in his mother's garden. Jack's mother was delighted with the hen which lay golden eggs. We will never be poor again, she said. But before long, Jack grew restless again and determined to climb the beanstalk. He realized that the giant's wife would not be pleased to see him, so he waited until she came out to hang out her washing, then crept into the castle and hide himself in a copper cauldron. Soon the giant came home and sniffing the air he bellowed, Fee, foo, fee, fum. I smell the blood of an Englishman. But his wife assured him that he was mistaken, so he sat down to his breakfast, ate it, and then called out, Wife, bring me any harp. She brought it and placed it on the table. Sing harp, commanded the giant, and the harp sang sweetly. The giant off to sleep. Then Jack crept quietly out of the quadron and tiptoeing over to the table. He snatched the harp and ran off with it. But this time he got a surprise for the harp called out loudly. Master, master, and the giant woke up. Fear made Jack run like the wind. But the giant came lumbering after him, roaring for his blood. Jack leapt onto the beanstalk and started to climb down. The beanstalk began to shake and creak and sway around as if it was caught in a hurricane. The giant was climbing down after him. Faster and faster went Jack, mother. He called, leaping to the ground, bring me the axe. Taking the axe, Jack swung it at the beanstalk and in three strokes he brought it toppling down from the sky with a terrible roar. The giant came down to the ground shook and the giant made a hole so deep that he never got out of it. The beanstalk never grew again but it didn't matter a jot because the, sh the harp if you like, then share, like and subscribe our channel. Thank you, cares.